Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It's Friday, December the 2nd. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, it's been a mixed session for global equity markets overnight. On Wall Street, the S&P 500 ended lower, while tech stocks managed to lead the Nasdaq to a modestly positive finish. Investors are weighing up the prospect of a slowing of monetary tightening amid the latest economic data. US manufacturing activity has shrunk in a sign that the Fed's rate hikes are cooling economic growth. Traders now seeing a 79% likelihood that the Fed will slow its pace of rate hikes to 50 basis points later this month. Shares in software maker Salesforce tumbled, which weighed on the Dow. This after the company announced that Brett Taylor would step down as co-chief executive officer next month. Dollar General also tumbled after the discount retailer cut its annual profit forecast and Costco slid with the retail chain reporting slower sales growth in November. Investors are now awaiting non-farm payroll data on Friday for clues about how rate hikes have affected the labour market in the US. Well, there are further signs of moderating inflation in the United States. The Personal Consumption Expenditure or PC Deflator Price Index, the pace there eased, rising 0.3% in October, the same as September for an annual pace of 6%. Excluding the volatile food and energy components, the PC was up 0.2%, which was less than expected. However, American consumers are still spending, boosted by wage gains amid a resilient labour market. Spending was up 0.8% in October, the largest increase since January. Globally, factory output fell widely in November. US manufacturing activity contracted for the first time in two and a half years last month, as higher interest rates cooled demand for goods. And input prices paid by factories fell for a second straight month suggesting that inflation is trending lower. The ISM manufacturing PMI falling to 49 in November with a reading under 50 indicating contraction, its weakest reading since May 2020. In the Eurozone, there are also signs that inflationary pressures are easing with the S&P global PMI rising slightly but remaining in contractionary territory to 47.1. Well, the US dollar has fallen to its lowest level since August, and as a result, we have seen the Aussie uh, sit above 68 to US cents, just above that level at the moment. Treasury yields also sank. That after Fed Chair Jerome Powell said yesterday that it was time to slow rate hikes. Well, to the local share market, it is set to open lower. ASX futures down one-fifth of a percent. And the EU has tentatively agreed to a $60 a barrel price cap on Russian seaborne oil exports. That's according to diplomats. However, reports that China has eased COVID curbs in two major cities, along with the falling US dollar, have boosted the oil price with Brent crude up 1% to $88 a barrel. Base metal prices were mostly higher and gold prices jumped around 2%, taking the spot price above $1,800 an ounce as bond yields and the dollar weakened on the prospect of slower rate hikes from the Fed and on signs of cooling inflation. US gold futures were up more than 3%. And the crypto market is relatively stable with Bitcoin trading just below 17,000 US dollars. And that is your day ahead. We'll see you again on Monday.